young Galileo pointing his telescope towards the stars. What was in his young mind? What he went against the concepts of his time. During this age, scientists in the church believe that the sun and the planets revolved around the earth. Galileo and some scientists before, such as Copernicus, believed the earth and the planets revolved around the sun. Galileo was the first scientist to use the telescope to prove his theory. Yet, why does man hold on so tightly to his ideas and beliefs? The Catholic Church and the Pope himself couldn't believe Galileo. They said he was a heretic. How dare you challenge this idea that the sun and the planets revolve around the earth? Who do you think you are? Imagine being tried by the Inquisition. They found him guilty and placed him under house arrest. Fortunately, they didn't kill him. Yet, he spent the rest of his life in house arrest. Today, Galileo is known as the father of the following father of observatory astronomy, father of modern physics, father of the scientific method, father of science. <laughs> All I can say is, wow! Imagine Galileo also studied and mastered the following. Astronomy, physics, engineer, philosophy, math, mathematician. He was, in my eyes, a genius. He was way ahead of his time. Isn't it amazing we don't want man to challenge our way of thinking? Man, at times, loves living in the box. It's a comfort zone. You don't want to learn anything new or be challenged. If someone has something to say that is different, we get angry. How many innocent people got killed to the Inquisition? To be honest, I probably would have died back then from what I'm saying today. Just think, Christ died on the cross. Yet the Inquisition killed millions of people who believed in Christ in a different way. What do you think Christ would say? He would shake his head and probably have tears of compassion flowing from his eyes. Look, this adventure of life is all about discovering the mysteries of life. We should be grateful when we meet someone who has a different idea or concept of life. I was fortunate to be brought up in a household that accepted all ideas in life. Till today, I still love to hear life stories from people all around the world. Imagine, today we have telescopes scattered throughout the universe. We are looking for the mysteries of life. 